Hello my fellow family foodie friends, it's Jackie. I'm really excited to be a part of a Super Bowl food collaboration. This is hosted by Taylor Elmore. Thank you girl for the invite. I have been really excited to share these foods with you guys. And today I wanted to make it really easy so that your food can stay warm and accessible during the game. And it's really easy to set up for because who wants to stress during Super Bowl, right? So I'm sharing with you three crock pot recipes that can be used with other foods. A great addition to any Super Bowl Sunday spread. And even though I'm not like a true football fan, I do love Super Bowl Sunday because of the food and the Super Bowl squares and the commercials. And just if I can have a party for anything, I'm game. And be sure to check out the playlist link below. It has a lot of different ladies participating in this with wonderful Super Bowl Sunday food ideas. Let's get to mine. So here are the all-star ingredients. Apparently this is a great value day. So all of this is from Walmart. Chili sauce, homestyle meatballs, a 32 ounce bag, a can of sauerkraut, and then a can of whole berry cranberry sauce. And you put it all in the crock pot. So I'm using my instant pot. I have my inner pot here. I love that I can take it out, work on my island, and then take it to the instant pot. I also forgot to mention you need a three quarters cup of brown sugar. We're gonna get everything added right into the inner pot. This is seriously so easy. You just drop all of your ingredients in and you mix it all together, set it for five hours. And five hours later, your taste buds will be delighted. I have made these so many times and every single time, I wonder if I like them the same and I still absolutely love them. Again, this is actually a crock pot recipe, but I used my instant pot as a crock pot. I'm making like a taco tater tot casserole. I've never made this before. There will also be cheddar cheese, but I don't have it out because it's not part of this process. But I basically am mixing salsa, enchilada sauce, black beans, sweet corn, green chilies, some taco seasoning, an onion, and olive oil in a pan. You would put ground beef in here if you want it to have beef, but since one of my daughters doesn't eat meat and it's a casserole, I am omitting it. It'll be a little more saucy than normal because it doesn't have the beef in there but I'm going with it. This is a recipe from damndelicious.net. I love her stuff. And I'm excited because I'm gonna use one of my new green pans. I just got these at World Market. And my pans are very uh, sticky, even though they're non-stick. So I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna go ahead and get my onion sauteing, and then I just add everything else. The recipe will be linked below. And then I will layer it with tater tots in my crock pot. And it goes for like four hours, so easy. I also am excited, I just got this new ceramic knife. I had one for a long time and it chipped, so I finally replaced it. I got it off Amazon. I will link to it below, but I love using ceramic knives. So once my onions cooked down a little bit, I just rinsed off the beans and the corn and I added everything into my pan. You'll see my pan ended up getting very full by the time I was done. But you just mix it all together. If I made this with ground beef, the ground beef would have been in this pan and cooked with the onion. But again, I made it without meat for my daughter that does not like to eat meat. And after this, it's a layering game.
The recipe I followed only used 16 ounces of tater tots, but I used the entire 32 ounces. I don't know how you could get away with only 16 ounces, but I put half the bag on the bottom, I put my entire saucy mixture in the middle, and then the rest of the tater tots on top. Again, I used double what the recipe called for, and I don't know how you could use less because you can see it's not like my tater tots are falling all over each other. Okay, so with half an hour left, or let it melt for half an hour, Elsie's gonna add two cups of sharp cheddar cheese, right Elsie? Mm hmm. Mm, it's the first time we've opened it. How's it smell, Elsie? Good. Okay, all over. Elsie will put the lid back on, and we'll eat in 30 minutes. So I sliced some avocado and cilantro to go on top of this so that I didn't feel as gluttonous as this really was. But this casserole is super warm, super yummy, and very comforting and perfect for a football game. This is kind of like tachos I have shared in the past, tachos where you make nachos on top of tater tots. This very much has the feel and it was very delicious, super easy, and definitely something that people would keep coming back to at your Super Bowl party. Okay, this is gonna be white queso that we use for a lot of meals. Some chopped green chili. Perfect for the little dipper crack mat. So this is a four and a half ounce can and I'm gonna use half of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in there. And I eyeball half of it. You could get really precise if you wanted to, but it's just not how I do things. I have an entire two pound block of Velveeta here. I'm gonna use a quarter of this. Just kind of chop it up a little bit. Doesn't really need to be that chopped, obviously. Okay, I'm putting in a quarter cup of milk. I'm using 2%. Really, you could use whatever you have on hand. What is this? I'm gonna just shake some salt in there. And then I'm gonna do a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, garlic powder, and cumin. Garlic powder. So this is all set now. You just have to plug it in. And it takes about an hour, I'd say, to have it all melt together. You can microwave it and have it in the little dipper, but I like to warm it this way and avoid the microwave if I can. So I just get this started a little earlier than dinner and just stir it frequently. Okay, so this has been in an hour and a half now. And it's still chunky, but I'm able to work that all out just by stirring it. So it definitely be good to go now. We're not quite ready to eat dinner. So I guess my official recommendation is an hour and a half. And we are serving this just with chips, guac, and salsa. Homemade salsa, I'll link that below. It's easy queso. And even though I don't absolutely love using Velveeta because it's processed, it does melt so easily. So I hope you guys really enjoyed those ideas. If you really like to cook in the crock pot, make sure you check out my crock pot desserts right here. This has four recipes where it could be a great thing to add a little bit of sweetness to your Super Bowl Sunday bar. And don't forget to check out the playlist where all the other ladies are sharing Super Bowl Sunday foods right here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Taylor, for hosting. Chow down and chow.